I prefer to be someone uneducated. I don't want to read all these books. I feel like I'm also uneducated hearing that. <laughs> Alpharettes and Pollux catch their breath as they see a huge bookshelf. I prefer to be uneducated too. Oh. I knew you would agree with me. This is a little too much. Let's be stupid together. <laughs> Enough with the jokes. I can't afford any delays. Ain't nobody joking around. We're not trying to read all these books. Key, why did you get up? Did you find something? Polix goes through the book I found and beckons as if he had found something. I think so. I found something stuck inside. Alpharetz's face grew pale as he read the letter. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm fine. But this is... Oh, wait. Alpharetz seems strange. He is about to faint soon, ah! Uh. Oh my goodness. Alvarez, Alvarez, you okay? It's nothing, I just had a headache. I'm fine now. You look sick when you started reading down the letter. Does it hurt you to read that much? I mean, I know you said you wanted to be uneducated, but dang. Is it because of the letter? It's the content. It's the content of the letter to be clear. Nothing is clear for now. However, Alvarez looked worse over time. This man don't need to be reading. It's too much for him. At that moment, Speaker Celotab rang and his face turned serious as he checked the message. Oh. Don't let Alvarez read it. He might pass out. It's the Queen Tet sorcerers who were looking for Sirius. Hmm. They have found traces of Sirius near the Whirlpool Tower and we happen to be nearby. Oh, heck yeah. Oh. Did he appear? Shouldn't we get going? I'm already on my way. We found what we were looking for, so we better check for ourselves. Key, you better. I'm coming along. I'm not staying here. I'm coming with you guys. Oh, Alpharetz is... Oh. Darn it. I... Darn it. I... Darn it. Key, you don't have to stay for me. I'm coming with you guys. Okay. All right. Cool.